for Ultimate Team Coins, check out thefootshop.com. The link is in the description below. And if you use the discount code NEPO at checkout, you get a discount on your coins. What's up, guys? Nepen Thets here, and welcome back to another game in the draft tournament. Today, I am facing up against Bates and 87. You can see my my team on the screen right now. I think I've drafted well, but Bates has also drafted very well. I just picked up, literally, just picked up a 3 1 win against Rota Short in very controversial manner, scoring that kickoff glitch at the very start. But I am through to the second round. Hopefully, in this game, we can turn Bateson over. Bateson obviously is a very strong player and uh, it would be nice for me to make my first final appearance in this tournament but I haven't got my hopes up too high. Let's get into the game though guys. Hopefully score some nice goals and see ourselves into that final. Here we go. Right guys, as we go into the gameplay, this is Bateson's team on the screen now. He's probably drafted the best in this tournament. He's got a very, very strong defense and a really good attack as well with Vucinic and Gomez. Unfortunately, there's no face cam for this game. The footage became corrupt. It was uh, stuttering and the, the camera, like my face was still, my body was still and the audio was skipping forwards. Uh, it was very annoying because... Uh, I was uh, very mad in this game and you would have been uh, been able to see that, but Bateson obviously is a very strong player coming into this semi-final. I was just happy to have got through the first round, you know, I was very happy to have just uh, got through Road to Shore, especially through Road to Shore. And I conceded this goal after nine minutes. Bateson has a custom set piece that is literally undefendable. He puts it in there and it's designed to give him just all the room in the box that he wants. And it's exactly what it did. And probably after scoring the kickoff glitch against Harry, you guys will be happy that I conceded a goal like this. But going forwards in the tournament is definitely something that I think should be banned because the kickoff glitch is easily defendable. All you have to do is select a defender and run back with the attacker and you can defend it. But with that corner set piece, there's just nothing I can do to defend it. He sets it so quick and takes it so quick that I don't have time to even adjust and select a defender that I want. It's designed perfectly to kind of like leave him and three or four other people on his team in acres of space in the box and it was just very very frustrating to, to defend against. I'll show you a few more of them that he tried in this game and he even scored one against Cal Frizi in the first round as well as he scores actually a really nice goal there with Vucinic, some poor defending by me. But yeah, it's one of those things in this game that um, in I, I just don't think should be in the tournament and uh, concede a goal there, was really pissed off at conceding that goal. Chip through ball is over the top is fine, but Abate's got it covered. Abate then gets tackled by my own defender, which allows Vucinic to go through and make it 3-0. And a 3-0 down against uh, Bateson, you know, th there's just no coming back. I did have a couple of chances. Di Natale with a shot there that the keeper parried wide. Had a few corners of my own, uh, you know, a few a few headers on target, a few headers just wide that were unable to get into the, the back of the net. And uh, I, did, I was pressing as much as I could, but Bateson, obviously, like I said, he's got a solid defense and he generally is a, a very strong player anyway, a very solid player. You know, there's a reason why he keeps getting to the finals and winning these uh, these tournaments. Crossed through into the box there that I thought maybe the defender could have got his head onto, but he didn't. And once again, here we go, just on the stroke of half time. Bateson trying this, um, this custom set piece again. He ends up getting the header on the ball. The keeper saves it. But once again, you see the from the free kick, he was just in acres of space in the box there. So at half time, guys, I was 3 0 down, but it was quite even game. 51% possession to my 49. 5 and 4 on target for Bateson with three goals. Three on two on target for me with no goals. On another day, that could still be 0 0 or 1 0 or maybe 1 0 to me, but Bateson was just clinical with his chances whereas I unfortunately wasn't I didn't quite have the manpower up front to um, to take those chances you know Luca Tony for as good as he is with heading once he gets the ball at his feet he's not really the best with it he's very slow and sluggish and he's literally just there designed to win headers did have a few other chances coming into the second half a very weak finesse shot from Jovino I'd, I'd played with Jovino a few times and he's actually scored a few nice finesse shots for me so I was a bit disappointed in that and here we go into the 66th minute, guys. I'm still thinking if I do get one back really quickly, I have got a chance. And I put Di Natale through, try to get the first shot off and get it in the back of the net. But the keeper makes just a ridiculous save on the edge of the box with his feet. And uh, once again, go through again with Centurion here. My left back, but bombing through, absolutely bombing through. And again, could have done a bit better with it. Maybe could have scored a goal, got another corner from it. At this point, I've created enough opportunities to have got back into this game. But Bateson was just defending too good and my attacking was just far too poor. And once again, a nice header there. Nine times out of ten in FIFA, that goes into the back of the net. But in this time, you know, the one time out of ten there, he ends up saving it and it goes out for another corner where I get my head on it yet again. But it goes just wide. So it was still 3 0. And then a few minutes later, Bateson goes down the other end. He gets through past my defence, chips it across the goal, and scores a cutback to make it 4 0 after 77 minutes. And that was pretty much game over after that. Like, it, the, you know, no matter what I did, you see on the top left of the screen now, he's had 10 shots, I've had 9, and yet I'm 4 0 down. Just one of those games where it seems like everything's going against you. Maybe that wasn't quite the case. He tries this uh, corner tutorial thing or corner technique thing again. Once again, I physically can't defend against it. It's absolutely 
ridiculous that that, that is in the game. Not just that Bateson's using it, but the fact that it's in the game anyway. Uh, the fact that people can't defend against that. That sort of thing is going to become very, very apparent in FIFA now. Now that Bateson's done it a few times, you know, he's got a big audience. A lot of people are going to start doing that. And for me, it's going to ruin FIFA more than what the kickoff glitch does. Because kickoff glitch only happens when you concede a goal or score a goal or kick the ball off. There's more corners in games than there are kickoffs. And, you know, people are going to end up scoring just way, way too many goals from this uh, this corner technique or corner set piece or whatever you want to call it. And I think it's really going to be a negative thing for FIFA and going forwards for the rest of FIFA 14. As if there's not enough overpowered stuff in the game anyway. It's absolutely not Bateson's fault, you know, even though he did score them. It's uh, one of those things that's in the game that he's decided to use. So... You know, can't really change anything to do with that. But this is the end of the video, guys. So thank you as always for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace. This game. Oh, thank God for that, Albiati. Woo. That was too close. That was too fucking close. Let's just go, Di Natale. Let's just fucking run one. Ref, fuck off. He is clean through on goal. That is horseshit.